Gun addiction. Are you an addict? I admit, I'm an addict. In this video, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to try to make it lighthearted, but it's also kind of serious. A lot of my subscribers and viewers and friends are telling me, Tom, oh my gosh, with YouTube and the internet and gun broker and you get online and we get infatuated with these guns and we're putting our, our, our guns on credit cards and we're getting into debt. So it's a serious issue. I mean, there's actually forums for people who are gun addicts. Okay, now I'm a gun addict, I admit it. That's step one. I'm gonna give you Tom's six steps at the end of the video to resolve your gun addiction problem if you have one. So, welcome to weaponseducation.com. All right, let's talk about gun addiction. I mean, it is a real serious problem for a lot of people. And I do get a lot of my friends and subscribers, viewers telling me, Tom, um, my life is ruined. My credit cards are tapped out. I lost my home. Uh, I lost my relationship with my spouse, my loved one. Th my life is just going like this into kaputs. What do I do? I can't drive by a gun store without stopping in and looking at it. I, I can't stay up at night without getting online and looking at YouTube videos and getting all infatuated with these guns and getting on Gun Broker. And we're going to talk about all that. First, before I give you my six steps to solve your problem, which I'll do at the end, let's look at some guns. I took out a small smidge in my collection, and I'm going to tell you how I justified the purchase of these guns. Okay? So, but don't try to duplicate me, by the way. This is just about... It is kind of serious, this video, but I want to make it lighthearted. Let me tell you how I justified the purchase of these guns. Tammy, please take a look down here, and we're going to roll through a bunch of guns here. We love looking at gorgeous guns. All right, a Desert Eagle, 50 AE. Come on, why do I need this? Well, it's a collector's item. I can justify it for that reason alone. It's gorgeous. I love it. And no, it's, uh, it's not necessarily something that you really need. I do carry it. So yeah, that, that justifies it. I carry it, okay? We're talking about gun addicts here. On a scale of 10, I'm going to keep asking you to throw in your comments what level you are. I'm a 10. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm bad. And we're going to get to my, my six steps here at the end. Now, let me just give you some examples of what I've done. All right. Oh, I, I, I got the beautiful Springfield XTM 45. Look at that. Perfect. This is the 3.8 inch model. But then I also have the full size 4.5 inch model. But why do I need both? Because they're so awesome. They fit your hand so perfect. One smaller a little bit. I mean, what's the difference in 3.8 and 4.5? I'm thinking, uh, well, it's, uh, you know, it's not much, but it's different. Oh, and this one's, this one's got, I, 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 got, I got a laser on this one and a light. The other one doesn't. That justifies buying two Springfield XDMs. Yeah, that's how that's how we think us, us addicts. Okay, here Glock. Ah, gosh, no one loves Glocks more than me. I just grabbed one here for demonstration purposes. Glock 29. Why do I have four Glock 29s? I kept buying them and buying them, buying them because I'm a 10 millimeter lover. Thinking to myself, what if Glock stops making 10 millimeters? I, I gotta keep buying them. And then I also think, well, I justify it this way. Well, I, I got a couple of homes. I'll keep a couple here, a couple there. Then I think, well, some of them I can put the, the Glock 20 magazine, and some of them I can just put the normal, the, the, the Glock 29 magazine. We can always, us addicts, there's addicts for, for drugs, there's addicts for smoking, there's addicts for drinking, there's addicts for, for credit card shopping. We're talking about gun addiction, and uh, we'll get a little serious here at the end, but I'm going to tell you how I justify buying my guns. Now, if you can't afford it for real, for real, don't do it. We're going to get to that at the end. But if you can afford it, we'll get to that also at the end. Okay, now that's what I, that's how I justify buying so many Glocks. I got every Glock model there is except the 357 SIG. I'll get one of those. Here, HK. Okay, this one here is the USP Compact 40. Oh, what a wonderful gun. HK. Love, love my HKs. So, what did I do? I bought another one. This is the 
P2000. Okay? Well, why would you, Tom, I'm thinking to myself, why would you buy another 40 caliber HK if you already got one? Well, this is a different model. That's how I justify it. Now, what about this? Oh, here's another 40 caliber P2000 SK. Hmm, slightly smaller, a little bit different. That's how I justify that. I'm telling you, it's, it, it's serious for some of us. If you can afford it, that's fine. If you can't, we're going to get into it. Oh, how about this? I'm just jumping around here with guns. You get a nice close look at that? Bond arms. Come on. Why would I buy a 410 shotgun pistol that only holds two shells? Take a look up. Well, it's just really, really sweet. Is that cool? Cool factor. Cool factor counts. Alright? I couldn't drive by a gun shop. I can't drive by a gun shop. Ammunition is a whole other story when you're, in, when you're a gun addict. We'll get into that. So, cool factor counts. And that's why I bought this. Okay? Let's take a look back down here. Okay. Why did I buy this? A 10 millimeter revolver. I mean, come on. I already got all these 29s. I got a 20. I got a Colt, I got a Colt Delta. What do I need all these 10 millimeters for? Why? Well, I justified this one because they don't make it no more. And I got a brand new new inbox on Gunbroker. We're going to talk about shopping on Gunbroker here. Ooh, it could, it could get in trouble. Be careful. How about this? Look at this gun here. Sig P238, 380. Beautiful rainbow finish. Great. Okay, got, got one. Makes sense. Perfect gun. Great for concealment. My wife carries it. She's behind the camera. Say hello. Hi, hi, everybody. You love this, right? I sure do. That's yeah. mine. Yeah. What about this one? <laughs> why did I buy two? Because I'm an addict. I don't know why I bought this. No, I bought the second one. I justified it. You know why I bought the second one? Um, and I'll, I'll tell you in the next video. Probably because, just in case, um, uh, we both want to carry one at the same time. There you go. Justified it. See, we can always justify our addictions. How about this? Okay, Kimber. I have more Kimbers than I even know. Probably 12. 1911s. Um, I don't think I've even shown you this one yet. Which one is this? The Stainless Pro Raptor 2. It's a thing of beauty. That's how I justified this. I mean, look at the top of the slide. Is that gorgeous or what? You got a nice close look at that? I mean, look at that. Look at the scaling. The, 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 oh. So beauty is another reason why we justify purchase of guns. And that's why I have all these Kimbers. Oh, talking about Kimber. Here, let's move right along here. Three-inch Kimber. Okay, Ultra Raptor 2. Love it, love it. I need the three-inch because I want a small 45 ACP, nine, uh, uh, 45 ACP, 1911. All right, so I got one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Another three-inch Kimber. Well, why did I buy this? How do I justify it as an addict? I'll tell you right now. This one's got a laser. The other one doesn't. That's a good reason to spend another twelve, fourteen hundred dollars on a gun. Oh boy, what's wrong with us? Um, if you're watching gun channels, you're into guns. I'm just, I just grabbed a couple of guns to show you real quick. FN45. This one is. I've shown you this recently. I purchased it. I, it was expensive. This is the competition model. Do I shoot competition? No. But why? How do I justify buying it? Well. Because I love my 5.7, which I'll talk about here in a moment. And uh, it, it's just a great manufacturer, and it's a great gun. That justifies it. I want it. I have to have it. I can't stop myself. It's large capacity. It's like 13, 14 plus 1. Gosh, it's awesome. All right? So that's how I justify that. Now, how about justifying this? A snubby. Unavailable anymore. Emergency survival. 500 Magnum. This is designed to take out the largest animals on the planet, specifically grizzly bears. Is there any grizzly bears here, Tammy, in uh, South Florida? Not that I know of. No, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> no, I think there's... A, but I heard that Bigfoot could be out here in the swamps. That justifies it. You never know. Is that a wise tale or not? I don't know. <laughs> you never saw it. Hey, so. and why would I need a snubby? But because I like to bang when I'm at the range. That justifies my addiction to, got to have it. It's unavailable anymore, too. It's a collector's item. We all can justify it for different reasons. And that's what addicts do. Okay, take a look up. I'll show you a couple more items, and I'll get to my list. Okay, how about knives? I'm just going to touch on knives. 
gosh, I, I just I got it to zero tolerance. And these are pricey knives, and I went like this with the first one I got. I forget the names of these. I'm just going quick here. Wow, it's awesome, but you got to go like that. I'm thinking, ah, oh, this is like 300 bucks. So then I found one online that's even better. Look at that. Take a close look at that. Is that a beauty? Is that beautiful? I mean, I sit with this knife sometimes and I just toy with it. And look at the blade. So knife addiction is another serious problem for us. You knife addicts, you jump in there. All right? I got more knives than I have. I can slice 500 tomatoes and uh, never use the same knife. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. Oh, talking about knives, you know I love my extra large spotter, okay? Boom! 17 inches! <laughs> One of the most badass blades on the planet. Look at that. All right, so why do I have two? I can justify it. I can justify it. You know why? Uh, what if they stop making them? And right now they're hard to get. Okay, that's how I justify it. Collector's item. Let's put these aside. <laughs> And then, oh, how about flashlights, okay? Whew. If you're a Leo, by the way, this is really a great, in all seriousness, the Four Sevens Maelstrom S18. Well, I want to be able to see the, the space station. I want to be able to, this can almost do it. It's that powerful. This is one cool flashlight. And I have a whole collection of flashlights, a whole collection of blades. Let's talk about more expensive guns. Even. How about this type of thing? Why would you buy... What I bought recently, like a month ago, it looks cool. That's how I justified it. Really, the reason why I purchased this AR is this is 6.8 special round, SPC. Oh, that's cool. It's got the knockdown power of an AK and the, and the persistency and the longevity of the, of the 5.56. Good reason to justify the thing, whatever I paid for this. Let's look at some other big rifles here. Why did I get them? Because this is, this is really getting out of hand here with addiction. Six hour, I don't even think you've seen this one. Rifle, 5.56. Five, Gas operated system, SIG. I mean, how could you beat it? I justified it to say, I want to get a really cool EOTech on this thing, which I got one order. Okay? Plus, uh, you never know. The world comes to an end. We're lawless society, for real. And that's why, that's why I do it. Besides just collecting them, I want to have all this, all this arsenal and then the tens of thousands of rounds, but if you can't afford it, don't do it. Let's look at something else. Here, how about this? How about this? Oh, a Tommy gun. I mean, come on, a Thompson Tommy gun? This is a 30 round magazine. I got the 50 round magazine um, drum. Uh, how do I justify this? Come on. I got 10 magazines that hold 30 rounds, and this thing runs flawless. Talk about home protection. It's a pretty good reason to justify it. And this is not cheap. This is a Thompson Tommy gun, 45. But I justify it. There's always a reason to justify it. How about this? Oh boy, and I'm not even a long range shooter. This is a Springfield M1A. We gotta do more discussions on this. I got an EOTech coming for this also. Oh, 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 oh 308. I justified this because, well, Winchester has a new uh, line of ammo coming out in the PDX1 line that will not go through a human body. I mean, at close range, you go boop, and it's not going to go three away to 20 feet away. It won't go through the human body. It'll just explode inside their body. Great for personal home protection. Who would have thought? A three away for personal home protection? There you go. I justified it. I bought it. Okay, it's a yeah, it's a, it's an issue here. What's this one here? I showed you this one. Showed you that one. Let's move on to something else. It's not about me. This is now, let's get in all seriousness. This is about people who get involved with the internet and spend money that they don't have. Okay, so let me kind of be kind of a little bit serious right now. If you can't afford it, let me give you my, 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 my steps, okay? You know, like AA has their 12 steps. Well, here's my six steps to gun addiction. Step one, admit you have a problem. I mean, for real. I mean, if you really do, if you're, if, you're, if you're financing guns, meaning putting it on credit cards and paying 12, 15, 18% interest, that's a problem. And if you're not telling your loved ones in your household, that's a problem. Never use a credit card. Tell your loved ones. Um, okay, uh, let's move on here. Um, how about this one here? Never drink any alcohol 
and then surf the internet. I have people who email me, PM me, on a regular basis. Tom, my gosh, I, I, I was up late last night at one in the morning and I, I, I just watched my football team win or whatever and I had some beers and I was in a great mood and I got online and I, and I started watching all these YouTube videos of all these gorgeous guns in high def and I got all wound up and then I get on Gun Broker and I see the gun I want but I really don't have the money but I got a credit card with $1,400 line of credit and I can buy it now on Gun Broker or I could just like bid I, I can't wait three or four days. I gotta have it now. I gotta boom, buy it now. Don't drink and surf <laughs> and surf for shopping. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. You're gonna wake up the next day and say, oh my gosh, I just tapped out my credit card. Can't tell my wife. Can't tell my wife. Don't stop at every gun shop. Here's another step. Don't stop at every gun shop you drive by. You have to go get ice cream if, if that's what it takes. If you can't afford the guns, enjoy it through venues like this and, and, and just watching it and enjoying it. Because you got to buy the ammunition, by the way. Let's talk about ammunition for a second. Uh, I'm up to like 50,000 rounds. I mean, right, right Tammy? I mean, you, I mean, quite a bit. What happens when the UPS guy comes to the office with deliveries? Is, is his back broke? <laughs> Yes, they're very heavy. <laughs> very heavy. So, I mean, so you got to think when you buy guns, you got to have the ammo to back it up. So it's a costly hobby. People collect stamps. People collect coins. People collect art. People collect a lot of different things. We like to collect guns. And the most important step, and I want to finish this, if you could afford to purchase guns, the way, not the way I do, don't leave me out of this. But if you can afford to purchase two guns a year, do it! <laughs> if you can afford to get a thousand rounds every four or five months and collect it in a, in a cache, do it! Cool, rock on! That's what we're all about, the Second Amendment, collecting guns, it's our hobby, we love it. But, if you can't afford it, please, heed my advice. Sleep on it, PM me, and I'll, I'll call you and talk you out of buying it if you're on the edge of buying something that you can't afford. Because I, I get way too many people telling me that they see all these videos, they get so intrigued by them, and they're buying stuff they can't afford, and it's causing divorces, it's causing problems with their relationships, and, 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 and it's causing problems with their credit card, their, their credit line, that they're, they're in debt, and it's not a good thing. You don't, want, you don't want that. Your credit score gets ruined. So, I say... Look at my steps, think about them, admit you got a problem, never use a credit card, always tell your spouse, never drink and surf the internet, <laughs> shop. Do not stop at every gun shop and ignore everything I just said if you could afford it and buy as many guns as possible. Alright, please throw in your input on a scale of 1 to 10. What type of an addict are you? Are you an addict? On a scale of 1 to 10. Do you have a problem? Maybe you're just a two, that's cool. Maybe you're a 10 like me, but if you can afford it, that's cool too. Let's talk about it, new concept, never seen anyone do this. Thank you for watching. Please tell a friend, weaponseducation.com. Care about all of you, check it out.